We are a church that's passionate about community. We're passionate about mission. And for us, we have prayed for so long. As, as mission's been in the DNA of this church, specifically overseas, we recognize that unreached people groups was our primary goal and our calling here as a church. Uh, we got shared some stats many years ago that only 0.1% of all missions giving go to unreached people groups. That means that 99.9% .9 of all giving to overseas missions goes to people that have already been reached and already heard the gospel. And so for us, we said, you know what? We're going to pivot all of our focus to the unreached people groups. And in 2010, there was a horrific earthquake in Haiti. And uh, we saw all this government money, all this overseas money go there and honestly just get spent on bureaucracy and, and administration, buying vehicles for different pol politicians. Uh, it was horrendous what took place. And they left these people ravaged and abandoned. And many were left as widows and orphans in Haiti. And uh, Pastor Bob had an opportunity to go out there and saw the work that needed to be done. So we started saying, okay, what are the needs? And we've been building hurricane-proof houses for widows. And so it's been an amazing, amazing deal. Dozens of homes have been built. Uh, they are more expensive than we would like because they need to be hurricane proof. And uh, God's just done a tremendous work. So we found out the cost of most of these homes came from the bricks that they had to import and had to get made on the other side of the island. So Pastor Bob was over there and, and he found out there was a brick making machine that they needed for this. And, he, and they said, how much is it? And they said, it's very expensive, very expensive. And so Bob continued to search out and found out the expense was $3,000 for this brick making machine. So we bought two. Thank you, Jesus. So we buy two. They get lost in customs for a year, right? At the border because there was drugs also in the container or the, the bin. So uh, we finally got it in there. And now we've provided employment for dozens of local workers that are part of the church. We have an economic business that's happened. And that leads us to this very moment. We've partnered with uh, the Guillaume Foundation and Three Bill Global, Pastor Bob's nonprofit. And uh, we're going to have the opportunity to not only build a church, not only a community center, but a school for 300 children. Forget this. All for the amazing price of $25,000. We're going to change a generation. Would you welcome Pastor Bob as he comes up and shares about what we're doing? Come on, give it up for Pastor Bob. What an exciting time to be alive, right? And I'll just be honest with you, for those of you who are uh, mission trip apprehensive, the first time I went to Haiti, I didn't tell anybody, but I thought, I'm one and done. I'm never coming back. <laughs> it was rough. And so said almost all my team. They said, just to let you know, we're not coming back. And that's where I learned God's favorite word is never. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I, there could be a verse in there for it. I'm not sure. But anybody I've heard that, oh, I would never go there. I just laugh because I know you're done. You're going. That's the way it is. How many of you have ever said, I'm never going wherever? And you went there. And so we've taken over 200 people to Haiti. And here's what's significant about where we go. I don't believe in just sending money to nonprofits. I don't. Because if you don't have the accountability, if you don't have the relationship, and you don't see firsthand where the money is going, I don't think that's good stewardship. So one of the reasons I started a nonprofit was I wanted to be the guy that went, observed, evaluated, built relationships, and verified, is this a legit work? And so that's, that's how I do things. And so we have the opportunity to go here again. And, um, you know, Haiti's unrest. There's just nothing but unrest there and poverty, systemic, and, and it's terrible. And we have built houses, a lot of houses. We built churches, um, several churches, classrooms, um, the, the people that get the houses that we build are single moms that have a lot of kids and a husband that died or abandoned the family. That's who gets the houses. So this is a great opportunity. We only have room for like 11 people. Because of the unrest, we have to fly into Port-au-Prince. And instead of driving six hours to where we normally go, we have to take a small plane to get up there. And so it's limited. And we already have about five or six people that have committed to go. So if you want to go, you need to sign up.